Now you can own Batman Forever on video. It's bigger, fattier, better. A thrill-packed joyride. The best Batman yet. Buy it now. Own it forever on video. Important product announcements. Now with the Go Video Dual Deck VCR, you can copy any video for your personal home use or watch a tape while recording a TV show at the same time. Go Video Dual Deck VCRs. Tunes travel anywhere with Panasonic CD radio cassette recorder and a portable digital compact cassette player, a package of advanced sound from Panasonic. Labeling's a breeze with the Croy labeling system. From binders to badges, mailboxes to maps, make durable, professional quality labels for home or office. From Croy. This is the only face that I've got, so I'm going to take care of it. You've got to protect yourself from the little incidental day-to-day -day exposures to the sun. Even in just 10 minutes, UV rays can age your skin. Oil of Olay Daily UV Protectant. Olay Moisture with dermatologist-recommended SPF 15 filters out over 93% of everyday UV rays to help prevent future skin aging. In 10 years, my face is going to thank me. A lifetime of beautiful skin. Oil of Olay Daily UV Protectant. Glade Lasting Mist Air Freshener has a concentrated mist that goes up, stays up, freshens for hours. Ordinary sprays just go up and fade in minutes. For hours of freshness. In refills, too, fresh from Glade S.T. Johnson Wax. You know what's coming. The family gatherings. The stress. You're going to need someone to help you get through it. That's okay. Just let it out. I feel hostile towards you now. Okay, well, let it out slowly. Just in time for the holidays, Comedy Central brings you the highly anticipated new season of Dr. Katz. Oh, Ray, Ray, Ray. What am I going to do with you, laddie boy? Fix me. The new season of Dr. Katz. Watch a sneak preview Sunday at 10 p.m. Friday is an unexpected night of TV treasures. You know him from the State Department, but you've never seen him like this before. It's Warren Christopher on ice. Then, let yourself melt away into the wonderful world of moisture with the Cousteau Society's Wet Things. East meets West, Black meets White, and everybody gets along when Woody and Soon Yi guest on a very special Family Matter. It's TV you must see. Comedy Central. We don't do anything to get ratings. He's back, well-rested, and he looks great. The sneak preview of Dr. Katz is coming soon. Ah, greetings, you unfortunate total losers. I'm Dr. Clayton Forrester. It's Thanksgiving. Once again, I shall soon be ruling the world. As you cling to one another, weeping in desperation, you may ask, why now? Why me? Because my mother's coming in a few hours, and I'd like to be ruling the world by the time she gets here. Oh, no. Mother, she's early. Oh, what do I do? I haven't... Put... I'm not ruling the world. <laughs> Hello, and warm Thanksgiving greeting, Dr. Clayton Forrester. Perkins, what the hell are you doing here, you pedantic, <laughs> leathery old... Now, Clay, come, I... I come bearing an invitation from television's own Frank, done in a tasteful yet not too formal Bookman old style font on a crisp and elegant eggshell. You just give me this. Please join Dr. Clayton Forrester and TV's Frank. Thanksgiving dinner. Frank! <laughs> oh, now, Clay, this is going to be fun. Say, what a tangy Mexican three-layer dip. I hope there's enough for everyone. Everyone? There's more? Oh, son of a... <clears throat> Perkins! My mother will be here in just a few hours. I don't even know what I have in the kitchen. Maybe some ramen noodles? Oh, now, Clay, that'll never do for Mother Forrester, let alone the rest of the guests. I'll tell you what let's do. Why don't you nip down to the store with a list prepared for me by Bert Wolf? Just about the finest shopping list I've ever seen. And I'll stay here and take care of things here. Ah, uh, good, good. Okay. I'll just uh, nip down to Piggly Wiggly and get the stuff on the... Oh, uh, be a dear, Jack, and uh, uh, send them the movie. <laughs> Why, of course. 
Hello, and welcome to the first movie in this, our Turkey Day Marathon. This one is a fun hunk of cinematic sludge that I like to think of as one of the finest. This. Thank you. You brainless monkeys. I will make you bow down before me. <laughs> one day, you will all be before me prostrate, quaking, naked, and afraid, and I will show you the meaning of laws, <laughs> so that I might quickly dominate you. This year, I've selected a fast-acting episode from the first year of my experiment, The Crawling Hand. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy. In the not-too-distant future, Next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. You don't have to put applause in now, okay? But you could uh, bring it in a little bit. Go ahead. Come on in. A little bit more. That's good. Okay. People of Earth, my name is Joel, and I'm marooned in outer space. Um, I'm the subject of a bizarre movie-watching experiment, and now I guess uh, so are you. Uh, I'm expecting a call any second now from the two evil scientists who shot me into space for no good reason at all. Five, four, three, two, uh, stick around, we'll, we'll be right back. Dr. Katz treats a broad range of patients. You know when you're young, you think your dad's Superman, and then you grow up and you realize he's just a regular guy who wears a cape? Make your appointment to see Dr. Katz. Watch a sneak preview Sunday at 10 p.m. Touch the future at Radio Shack. Touch total image video. Aptiva from IBM. Touch theater sound. Touch a complete multimedia experience. The IBM Aptiva has it all and more. Touch it for yourself at Radio Shack. And with special credit terms, we'll not only help you touch the future, we'll help you own it. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Of all the eye drops you can buy, Visine is the only one recommended by pharmacists 4 to 1 over any other brand. Visine's formula gives you 100% of the relief you need. Visine. It gets the ring out. Ace Ventura is in Africa. They did not know about disease until the white man came. Ah, I am fighting something. The danger is greater. And the animals are wilder. Say uncle! Say uncle! Jim Carrey. Do I have something in my teeth? Ace Ventura, when nature calls. Say hello to my stinky friend. Rated PG-13. Now playing at a theater near you. It relieves coughs like vapor rub. It relieves congestion like vapor rub. It also relieves muscle aches like vapor rub, all without the grease. Because it's Vicks Vapor Rub Greaseless Cream. Relief without the grease. Touch the future at Radio Shack. Touch total image video. 
Aptiva from IBM. Touch theater sound. Touch a complete multimedia experience. The IBM Aptiva has it all and more. Touch it for yourself at Radio Shack. And with special credit terms, we'll not only help you touch the future, we'll help you own it. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Oh, you're watching no. the Death Marathon of Turkeys here at Turkey Day on the MSC oh, Anthology on the Comedy Central Turkey Day. Hmm? You know, uh, one of the really hard things about being marooned in outer space is you, you start to miss the little things that you have every day on Earth, you know, like rain and snow and mini marshmallows. You know, that's why these vacuum flowers are important to me. They're like the only living... Oh, I'm being called by my two evil overlords. Come in, Joel Might, my spunky little space sock. Hey, sirs, what's going on? It's time for the invention exchange. What have you got for us, skanky boy? Yeah, I got this new thing here. It's a, um, looks like an ordinary circular saw, but it's actually a safety saw. See, it's got a little infrared light that senses when your appendages or fingers are near. It shuts itself off automatically. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just kidding. It's a trick. Fake fingers. Oh, yes, we knew that. Uh, well, it's our turn for uh, our little experimental house party this week, Joel. <laughs> okay, say you want to emulate Reed Richards from the Fantastic Four and you need a longer arm to read something or change the channel, just use our limb lengthener here. Yes, just select the appropriate limb. Uh, in this case, Larry's volunteered his arm. Uh, comfy? Yeah. Yes, all right, and just stretch away. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh it doesn't hurt that much, you know, <laughs> TV. Well, I have a feeling you're probably violating somebody's basic human rights, namely uh, Dr. Earhart. Thank you. Well, speaking of violations, here's a little cinematic intrusion called the crawling hat. It has a star from Gilligan's Island, and one from the Big Valley, and one from the Hamburger Helper commercial. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy! Oh, brother. Movie sign! The Crawling Hand. Hey, Joel. Hi. How'd the scientists uh, like your deal? Okay, they're crazier than ever, though, you know. Yeah. They're kind of dickweed, aren't they? Mm, you could say that. This is like Love American style. Hey, Alan Hale, isn't that the skipper? Yeah. Little buddy. I can see my house from here, you guys. Hey, Joel, did they do these titles on a typewriter? No, uh, that's the uh, Helvetica constellation we're looking at. Oh. Stellar. Is Artie Shaw in this? No, I don't think so. Just off camera. Like a book. It's Kurt Douglas. Anytown, USA. Dr. Whiteford, contact range officer. Paging system now secured for emergency use only. Unless you have a note from your parents. 46 hours, 20 minutes, 0 seconds. Boy, he really needs a smoke. Base operations, Florida Division. Hold on. Suppress. Tell them I'm smoking. What do we tell them? Tell them I'm smoking. I'll tell you what to tell them. Tell them I'm smoking. Tell them we sent our second man to the moon. Looks like he's not coming back either. Oh, I'm sorry, Don. I shouldn't have said that. Oops. I'm sorry. Just tell them I'm smoking. He's smoking. 
We can release no statement at this time. Mr. Curran would like a countdown on the oxygen. Every 15 seconds. And an ashtray. Two minutes, 30 seconds. No contact for nine full hours. Draw. Get him some decaf. Same thing all over again. Too many years at the Strasburg School. Same thing Isn't that all Nick over from again. the Big Valley? Yeah. Get the whole rig clicking like a drain. Two minutes, 15 seconds. And 62 bottles of beer on the wall. You licked every bottle. Put a man on the moon. No, we got him off. Everything worked fine. But lock on. What happened to him? Two minutes, zero seconds. Mr. Curran says. Yes, sir, one moment. He's smoking. White House. Tell him I'm smoking. No, not now. No self-respecting scientist would have his shirt unbuttoned that far. I'm sorry. No hope for Captain Lockhart. Unless he's smoking. Isn't that a David Bowie song? I hate cappuccino. One minute, 30 seconds. Hey, scientists shouldn't litter. You all right? Shut up and throw the cup away. One minute. How's our boss holding up? He's probably smoking. Ranger? Usually he's not said a word. I wouldn't get too close to him if I were you. Yeah, his breath could stop a Titan I missile. I was figuring on giving him a sedative. Funny. Hey, they all got stripes in their hair. Yeah, it looks like landed hey, a skunk people. Who is it? Hairstyles by Gordon of Gotham. Hair. We'll be in about 60 seconds. Well, we've done it your way twice. Well, now, we don't pretend to know all the answers. Apparently, no one does. Except for her. For every frontier that's been explored, men have died. We've only lost two men on the strangest frontier of all. Cable. There are millions of people in this world, Dr. Weisberg. But there are only four men left who can handle the lunar rocket. The Beatles? And her. We've lost one third of the men we had. It's like a conveyor to, to oblivion. Like your 30, career. 30 seconds. The situation that happened to those first two men was not only duplicated, but widely exaggerated in their training. Those men did not have a mental crack-up. I'd stake my life on it. There is no duplicate to the solitude of space. If those men could have looked in their viewing screen and seen two, three, or more sister ships alongside seconds. out there, they wouldn't have Bang. You Ow. heard those tapes? Those men did not panic. Why are they shouting? Nine, eight, the remaining four seven, seven seconds till he slaps table. Five, without me. four, four three, two, one, one, zero. Oxygen. Depleted. Slap table. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you in Washington tomorrow. I'm going to get some air. Hey, she's making that loon call with her hands. Cool. Steve, did you ever think about getting your hair frosted? Steve. I know you don't have a widow's peak now. Think he knew about Don and Mel Lockhart? I don't know, Doc. If he did, I doubt if it'd make much difference. Let's see. Mess with this switch. Twist that. Uh, flip this. Uh, oh, someone's coming. Good luck with that. <laughs> uh, Steve, might as well write off four more men. I can't take much more of this, Doc. Yeah, soon I'll have to move off the corner of this Formica. Oh, well, you can justify it. Oh, our boss, the Secretary of Space Operations, and that cabinet post entitles him to be a very daring man. Oh, well, we got to stop him, Doc. All right, Steve, before you go see him tomorrow, stop by my office. I'll give you a protein rinse. I don't get it. I just don't get it. The pattern is the same as before. Perfect takeoff. Clear contact all the way. Perfect landing. You heard Lockhart when he was on the lunar surface. Lift off from the moon. Perfect. One hour later, nothing. And we had him right here, Doc. Sure wish I had that command of my arm. If he wanted to talk to us, he didn't even have to push a lousy button. Look at that fluid he motion. Read me. Do you read me? Oh, huh? Next 20. Oh, 
being really honest here. Hey, someone screwed up someone all the knobs. Please come in. Max Headroom's dad. And the music goes round and round and it comes out here. Hey, it's a spirograph. Next 20 to long blast. Do you read me? Lockhart, this is Moonblast. Current, Steve Current. Come in, X20. Look, it's Tammy Faye Baker. It's coming on a yeah, it looks more like Robert Smith from The Cure. My God! My God! Kill! Kill! Looks like he needs The Cure. What's wrong with that man? I don't know, Steve. This is Doc Whitesburg. How long have you been without oxygen? Fifteen. Maybe twenty minutes. Impossible. Why did you break contact? Let me contact, please. Have you considered frosting your hair? Push the red. Can't push that red button. It'll blow him. Push the red William button. Can't make I think he's taken acting lessons from William Shatner. Stop. Something makes my arm move. Makes me do things. Kill. Kill. This is Major Tom Do Ground Control. Up. On 200,000 feet. Push the red. Something in me. Why do you want us to push it? You can push it if you want to. It's better when you push it. I can't pull my arm. Kill. Kill. Looks like the dial's up about three points. Push the red. No more time. What's his position? Where is he? Denver. Populated area. California. Push the red. Most. Push button. Oh my God! Oh my God! Doc, Steve, help me! Help me! Well, he still has good teeth. Here, I'll push it. Let me be the one. I want to push this thing. Seventy thousand. Nope. Push that. Push that, and he's an astronaut. This is kind of what the cover of the book is going to look like. Uh, the Mystery Science Theater Amazing Colossal Book. There will probably be funnier jokes in these little balloons here, and uh, this will be gone. It'll be the same color up here, and well, you know, it's not going to be technical, but it will be out in the bookstands in the spring. Why get only half the workout on an ordinary treadmill when you can get a total body workout? Introducing the incredible WattFit from Nordic Track. WattFit's unique design lets you exercise your upper body and lower body at the same time. You get a fast, effective, total body workout that burns an average of 850 calories per hour. Whether your goal is to lose weight, tone muscles, or relieve stress, you can do it all with the WattFit Total Body Treadmill from Nordic Track. WattFit gives you a 53% greater cardiovascular workout than an ordinary treadmill, and you can burn 53% more calories. And WattFit has no motor. It's safe and easy to use. Unlike motorized treadmills, you control the pace. There's no herky-jerky starts and stops. Call our toll-free number now and receive a free video and brochure showing how to start an enjoyable exercise program you'll stick with. Don't settle for half the workout when you can get a superior total body workout with Nordic Tracks WalkFit. Call today and get a 30-day in-home trial and two-year limited warranty. After all, it's from Nordic Track. The real Sergeant Pepper served enough Corps of Mercenaries under Colonel Sanders, Major Dad, and Lieutenant Ahura. Dennis Miller, Bill Maher. It's a good bet they find each other funny, but for one night it's all out war, because only one walks away with a shiny Cable Ace. See Cable's best battle it out. Watch the Cable Ace Award, December 2nd at 9, only on TNT. Tonight, you'll feel guilty if you don't tune in to watch O.J. Simpson host an all-new episode of Unsolved Mysteries, live from Pebble Beach. Then, it's off to Capitol Hill for some Washington whoopee with Pack and Wood, the Bob Packwood story. After, it's an all-new 48 hours. Experience a new breed of cost cutters, do-it-yourself doctors, their people performing major surgery on themselves. It's TV you must see. Comedy Central. We don't do anything to get ratings. Hi, Tom Servo here with great holiday gift shopping ideas for the Misty in your life. Let's shop. 
May I suggest the classic all-cotton power tee in luscious black with the nifty white planet logo. And now here's a real holiday favorite, the nice big MST sweatshirt with Mike and the Bots embroidered in full color. Everyone loves the MST mouse pad, cleverly designed with the silhouette and planet logo. Wow. Friendly operators are standing by right now. Call 1-800-559-8916. This is Tom Servo announcing, happy holidays, everyone. Sounds like my old phi ed teacher. Push it, push it. And then the tape ran out. But we've got it on CD, too. Now that's one tape we don't want Donald to transcribe. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Pretty morbid to keep Talking listening to, to that. Without oxygen for 20 weeks. Can't. Lockhart did. So we know something kept him functioning. A substitute for oxygen? New oxygen light. I don't know, Steve. But ever since we lost Nelson, an idea has been buzzing around in my brain like a fly. A very persistent fly. After hearing Lockhart, the buzzing stopped. You know, I think I'd hit on it. Want to hear it out with me? Go ahead, have at it. Well, I think what kept Lockhart going was life. An independent vital force. Something living. Oh, and I suppose next you'll tell me there's rings around your anus. Living covers a lot of territory, see? And I don't think Lockhart was alone on his return flight any more than Milton. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not talking about the green men. As a matter of fact, I may not talk at all unless I get some encouragement. Well, what do you need, a, a drink, man? What, are you coming on to me? And you're the one that can get Barringer to give it to me. Time for what? Time to prove that this force, this... New life was born on the X-20. Go ahead. I need you with me all the way, Steve. He asked me. He asked me. What makes life? A certain particular combination of molecules, or carbon or silicons or nitrogen or any number of these things. Blah, blah, blah. A certain temperature. Mix well. Call it what you will. Serve over cracked but ice and garnish with a parasol. Swirling together in tiny orbits fuses these things into a precise energy relationship which we call life. Uh, now, wait a minute. What you're saying is that uh, in space, Boy, he's slow, huh? Life might mutate or even fully evolve in a matter of hours or even minutes. Uh, no, you're wrong. What happens when we send a man? Speed, Speed it up, up. let's go. We don't just send a man on a rocket. We send up living cells. Hey, down in oh, front. Snap. Oh, hey. We throw in radioactivity. We introduce all these to cosmic rays. Do we upset this balance? Do we start a cycle? Does a living cell from Earth romance a cosmic ray and give birth to an illegitimate monster who makes his nest in... I wonder if there's an abridged version of this movie. It's beginning to add up, isn't it? Perhaps... If there is, let's burn it. dying. Anything evolving so rapidly... Could Never burn your abridges. Well, Steve, quite a chunk. Now, throw out the logic pills when you swallow it. This theory can't be measured by anything we already know. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Sounds like a good case. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Berenger won't. He won't go for a theory even if it's true. Then lie to him, but buy me the time. Buy me things. Buy me things. No dancing, not allowed. No dancing, no dancing, not allowed. What a grouch. Just like Footloose. No rats, not allowed. Unless they're on the menu. No acting, not allowed. Hey, you are going to be a nurse, Patsy? Well, what are you doing with them? I picked them up at the express office for Grandpa. And for the math at school. So maybe your grandfather's a biologist. And your boyfriend's pre med student. But my father's a sheriff, and rats in the law don't mix. I thought they were synonymous. Why not? No rats. Good trick. He didn't bite. Hmm? When I said boyfriend. You mean Paul? Oh, then he isn't just a mutual interest in hides and chicken pox. He's very nice. But how did you hook him? Rubber frog and pork rind? The lone wolf they call him. Oh, I'm 
I'm not saying you're not attached, but he's just not with it. Just good friends. Joel, move your head. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Bart from my three side. You think I'm kidding, huh? Didn't you see that thing last night? What? You mean no. my three sons? I didn't see anything. Well, I phoned your father. Well, there was a fireball in the sky as big as a house. He didn't see it either. Well, what do you think it was? Didn't I tell you? Eat, drink, and be merry. Tomorrow you die. Well, no. Wouldn't it be today if there was a fireball last night? <laughs> and now for your local news. You're at Palm hey, California. he's got a woody. The traffic commission has decided... <laughs> I'll sit where the rat was. Come on, finish your milk. Let's get going. Can I stop by my house? What for? It's getting late. I've got to pick up my bathing suit. But I told you I'd meet you here. You said you'd have your suit with you. Mr. Charm. I just can't get used to going swimming at Christmas time. With a suit on? Well, I can tell you one thing. What's that? It's for real. You sound like a married couple already. <laughs> oh, that's not milk, that's pancake batter she's right. drinking. Pancake batter? You're soaking in it. Shotgun. Okay. I've got to take stuffies at home for Grandpa anyhow. Okay. Hey, they packed the lunch. Goodbye, you two lovebirds. Ratatouille. Hey, Paul, what are they saying over at the school about that thing in the sky last night? Nothing, what? Everybody said it was a meteor. Huh. Come on. Don't tell me you're still scared of them flying saucers. Come on, Bob. You can't let fear run your life. Yeah, Pops. Eat, drink, and be merry. Get over it. Yeah, take a lesson from these teeners. Twist your troubles away. Let's twist again like we did last summer, Joel. Yeah. Yowza. Really Look at that Begley Senior. Oh, thank you. Hi. What? It's a dump for you at the express office. Thank you. Love thank you, Grandpa. You. Gotta run. Hello, Mr. Farnstrom. I never really understand how you do it. It's easy. I just tie the sleeves around my neck. It's 15 minutes past the last bell. And already you are off somewhere with my granddaughter. Well, we have a system. A secret system. Ah, secret. He oh. looks like a cross between uh, Jerry what Mathers and James know? Dean. Science. Beaver without a cause. To work. To oh, we got to get out of here. Carry me. Not me, Professor. When I make it, I'll make it on my own. All the way. Oh, sorry. Fun. I'm coming. What did I tell you? Raising speed laws. Hey, baby splits. Wow, that's going to be tough to beat. Here we are in the fifth frame. Crow is staring at a nasty 610 split. He really needs this one. Oh, good hook, yes! Oh, All right, yeah. great shot. Nice oh, shot, Hey, that bro. puts me Very over 120, nice. Joe. Hey. All right, that was excellent. Oh, great these new game. arms are working yeah. great. You know, but I hate these rental shoes, because no matter how much of that stuff they spray into them, your feet still smell funny. Smell? I didn't know you could smell. Shh, shh. Uh, I'm, uh, did I say smell? Uh, I meant spectral analysis, of course. Hey, I, I was thinking, let's play murder ball now. What do you say? Uh, no. Wait a minute. Uh, I created you guys. When I say we play murder ball, we play murder ball. Okay, not it. Not it. Uh, let's do it over. Not it. Not it. Uh, well, how about rock, paper, scissors, huh? Oh, no way. I'm not playing that with you again. Look at my hand. Look. See, you know, every time we play, uh, I got to be scissors and you pick rock all the time. Hey, it's just the luck of the draw, Crow. Come mm -hmm. on. Okay, Joel, you win everything. Yeah. Bye. See ya. See you later, Joel. Next. 
Yeah. Go home to your mom. Yeah. We're your friends. Not. Nah. Come on, let's ditch her. Oh, that's great. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Joel. Thanks for emptying my load pan. Thanks for creating us, Joel. Thanks for making us intrinsically human, Joel. Hey, Cambot, come in a little bit. Cambot, I want you to remind me of something. Next time I make a robot, no more free will. That's it. Oh, we got commercial. I hate this. The movie critics are calling the most amazing film of the year is now the year's most collectible video. What a rush. Stargate. Buy your copy today for $19.98 or less from live entertainment. Like Sunny D? Yeah, it's got less calories than regular Sunny D. It still has a healthy junk. <laughs> Ready for more? Yeah. Dancing! Sunny Delight Light, the good stuff kids go for. In the beginning, you read all the books. You sterilize everything. You even buy those expensive diapers. But eventually, you get over it and get loves. Why loves? They work and work great, especially on leaks. They pass these torture tests as well as any pricey brand. But loves cost less every day without coupons. Like you have time to clip coupons. You don't have time to read books with words. Hey, live and learn. And then get loves. When I put lipstick on, it has to last. I'm Bob Mills. I'm a makeup artist for the motion picture industry. Before, I used to have to retouch lipstick after every take. Not anymore. Max Factor's moisture-rich lipstick with lip tattoo bonds in the moisture on your lips and gives color that lasts. It stays on and on. You don't have to retouch it. It's wonderful. It's the longest-lasting lipstick of Max Factor's I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of lips. Max Factor. Makeup that performs. The countdown continues three days to the sneak preview of Dr. Katz. Ow! Ow, you think me? Ow, hot, 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 thud! <laughs> Are you hurt? Ah, uh, only my pride. And my lumbar. He landed on it. Poor boy. The sense of the many eagles. I think I know now the secret of how to be successful with a woman. You do? Tell me. You have to be weak, pathetic, and they feel sorry for you. You're all those things, oh. and less. I think you discovered it. I know I have. I always wondered why some spindly little runts had the girls chasing after them. Because they felt sorry for them. Of course. And usually they have money, too. Oh. But you were fooling me. You're not weak. Darn right. Now I've got you. Hey, is this from here to eternity? No, it just seems like an eternity. Paul, I guess I'm not like those other women. I don't like weak men at all. Listen, will you once and for all give me a serious answer? What about? Are you going home, sweetie, after the smoke is over? Why not? I only plan to come to California for a year to see grandfather and go to an American school for a while. Meet some football team. Nothing has come up to change my plan. What do you mean? What about me? No. I planned it would be a boy, too. Oh, you? you little minx. Oh, no, don't throw my shorts in the sand. Damn you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's a stripping minx. Don't come any closer. I'm messing hard. Ah, uh, Baker, you haven't had time to undress. Maybe I didn't. How would he know? But I have now. Okay. You I'll win. accept that. Soon to be naked is better than not naked at all. You know, I don't think your grandfather approves of me. Because you're naked? Oh. You're wrong. He considers you the best student in his class. I met as a member of the family. What do I have to do? Say in Swedish? How do you say moon in Swedish? Hubba hubba. Oh, what does it mean I'm stacked? And you're not with it? Stacked? Stacked 
means you're really smart. This afternoon. Hey, why is she wearing a swimsuit with a cod pee? Oh, just for the halibut. <laughs> Sorry. Stop it. You're giving me a haddock. Oh, oh, oh. You're a pain in the bath. You have no soul. Oh. Stories by me and us. Um, how do you say it in Swedish? Say what? Nothing. Let's hit the water. You know something? American men marry much too young. You know something? Because of Swedish girls like you. The kind that get naked in public. Hey, last one in the fjords, a rotten egg. Hey, it's a beach thermometer. Well, Donna, I've talked to her and haven't been able to find him. Didn't he say where he was going? No. He was quite upset when he left. He banged on the typewriter for a while. He was in a mood. I've got to talk to him right away. It's urgent. I need more That's calendars. To be alone. But this is the one time he shouldn't be alone. Doc, you've got me worried. I didn't mean to scare you. This is a matter of the gravest importance. I'll try. I'll be here until I hear from you. Donna, everything all right? Oh, my collar's too tight. Bye. Goodbye. Boy, they're good swimmers. Waiters. See, the sand is hot. Oh, that water was cold. You know what that means. <laughs> All right. Now. The biking, then the marathon. Or what? The answer. Answer? What answer? Take it easy. Sorry. You stay here? Well, why should I do that? Well, I can marry you, stupid. Marry me? I'll marry you, stupid, oh, smart, oh. anyway. <laughs> Whoa, he upended her. Hi, I'm Tom Servo. Hey, I found my watch. Look, look, take me away, please. Sure, baby, sure. Did he just offer his hand in marriage? Well, not exactly his hand. No, no, I can stand it. It's for it's a murder. No, not a murder. A human hand, not a murder? Please. You've just got to trust me. If it's what I think it is, it can be very important for me. Please. Oh, no, just take me away from me. I love her, but I want the hand. I still love her, though. And that hand would be really great, but I don't know what... Uh, oh. Babe, hand. Babe, hand. Put your hands up or I'll shoot. Watch this, it's only me. It's Harriet Nelson's oh, evil what twin. What are you doing here? You said you wouldn't be home until late. Oh, I just remember this old pile of papers. I thought I'd come back and look something up. Well, what'd you come in the back door for? You know how jumpy I am about noises in the house. I got Mr. Hodgkin's old gun out. I thought they'd carry a burglar out of here tonight. Could I just take one practice shot at well, you? I was kind of psyched. I was going to shoot and ask questions later. Just one shot. Got a hair trigger too. Well, as long as it's you, it's okay. How about some supper? Oh no, thanks, Mom. I had some stew left over from last night. I could heat it up for you. No, I, I thought. What if I the gun doesn't kill him, the stew will. Oh, really? I guess I'll just go to my room if you don't mind. Good night. Hey, come on, one shot. I'll just wing you. It won't hurt that much. I've got to have that hand. Can't eat, can't sleep. All I do is think about it. Maybe if there's something... Oh, no. Man, with an extra hand around the house, just think of the stuff I could do. Just think. Hmm. Starlight. Star bright, first hand I see tonight. <laughs> I wish I may, I wish I might. 
Little human hand. Come here. Little human hand. Come on. Little human hand. Yes. If you want to catch a human hand, you got to think like a human hand. That's giant. That hand's unbelievably huge. It's called foreshortening, Joel. Chiku-chiku. Yeah. You gotta hand it to him. Went out on a limb with that one. Oh. It's a good thing he brought that freezer wrap along. I don't think it's freezer wrap. I think it's a handbag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'll go great with a little glass of milk later. A little honey-cured hand. Next to the hand cream on the shelf. Yes, Steve? It's positive. There is a reading. Yes, you've proved that they are rats. I said there was a positive reading. This may be all the evidence we need to convince Barrett. Oh, really? Oh, these two guys. We're in for oh, some now. serious acting now. Don't you understand? I'm giving you the answer. It's ammunition. too late, Doc. What's that? It's my resignation. Oh, you talked to him. No, no, not quite. He talked. He said either get on his wagon or get out. Well, I'm getting out. Well, now, wait a minute. Tear it up. You don't need it. This is the gauge I've been telling you about. It measures the results of cosmic rays or the presence of something associated... What is the something, Doc? Well, I, I don't something. know. Something. I did make a very important discovery about Elmer. Has he got it? Oh, well, how did he get it? Probably at a nightclub. Oh, I see. Uh, you're not aware of... Elmer, he's a very distinguished rat. Perhaps you're familiar with he these glues. He was glue. a passenger on our last space probe before we launched our first manned rocket. In the beginning, we thought he was completely unobtrusive, but he wasn't. I right. think the doctor's been spending a little too much time in the rat lab. I don't know when he'll turn on the other rats and kill them. Now, he can unlock an ordinary cage. That's why I had that padlock put on there. Everyone else around here seems to think that what he does is in, in the range of an exceptional rat's capability. But I don't. I think Elmer has thoughts. Naughty thoughts. Human thoughts. Like a human? Better than human thoughts. Like there's something. The same something that was in our pilot. Well, Steve, there's a possibility. I think the most memorable moment is the cat picking whatever meat it can get off the hand. That's kind of a nice moment. The camera just kind of lingers on the cat chewing the flesh off the human hand. That's, that's a pleasant touch. If it's not strong, it's not beautiful. Strong hair starts at the roots. New, vibrant, organic hair builds strong hair, penetrating the hair shaft. Infusing roots with organic nutrients. It's new hair care. It's a new world. Where strong is beautiful. New Vibrance Organic Care. Rooted in strength. There's one other person to use when you're extra, extra close. Arid, extra, extra dry. The one antiperspirant you can trust to give you arid double X protection to help stop perspiration before it turns into embarrassing odor. And when you help stop perspiration and odor, who knows what you might start? So come on, go ahead. Use arid extra extra dry and get a little closer. Cook with margarine? No more. I got more buttery taste that's golden. It's a rich, butter-flavored oil. Doesn't scorch like margarine candles. It's golden cooking. It has a buttery taste my family loves. This new oil from Crisco has given me a pan. Instead of margarine, I'm putting golden cooking in my pan. A rich, buttery taste. You'll love golden cooking. Cooks who know. Trust Crisco. Honey, pinch me. Return to your senses in Florida.
Of all the cities in the world, only one was built on family fun. It's like no other city on the planet. Call today for your free vacation guide. Are you watching the MST Anthology here at Turkey Day at Comedy Central? Yeah. What do you want? Oh, a little white knees. Ah, yeah, I love, love thick white knees. Very juicy this year. WC Handy. Hey, she's wearing a drool pad. And she's putting on Dr. Spock's house coat. Doctor or Mr. Mr. Doctor Mr. 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 Misdemeanor. That's what you get when you rob a dairy queen, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, she's pretty quick with that cold steel. Nuts in her girdle. Good thing she has a handgun. Cujo? Hey, boy. Hey, come on. This isn't funny. Guys? Guys? Don't take that off. Your chin will explode. Jackson, you've been making this noise out here. Come on, get down. You know better than that. Oh, sorry, Jackson. Was that your head? What is this doing out here? It's kind of lying there. Oh, what a mess. A chocolate mess. That yes, boy. He said he wasn't hungry, and then he comes downstairs and knocks these jars off of the shelf. The that proves he's hungry. My jelly, I'll tell you that. Oh, Helga, that tickles. Hey, it's the title character. Then he has a, this kid. God. I recognize him. He used to be with Death Leopard. Jackson, get away from that ectoplasm. That boy. I'd like to hold him tomorrow. Why the shower curtain? That's a good question for anyone. Ooh. Someone better call Madge the palm olive caseworker. Night, sweet troll. She needs about 150 hours of beauty sleep. She's got to do that scene over again. Back into the kitchen. She forgot to put her chin hammock on. Hey, what's that stuff? It's the nighttime coughing, aching, sneezing, stuffy head fever, so you're being chased by a human hand medicine. Good. You know things are bad when you keep a liquor cabinet in your bedroom. I don't want to do it. For a horse. Oh, hell. 
Helga. Oh, stewardesses, me, you, chandelier, swinging. I can't believe she's going to do this scene one more time. He used to call her One Take Sally. Now, look, nothing. Let's see, if I look at the dictionary, I think that's where I keep my stash. I've seen this. This is when she does her Julie Garland impression. What the? No, I think she's doing Mrs. Captain Kirk. Got to find push button. Must lay down. Must perform death scene. Oh, grab your pills. That'll help. Helga? The slash gift! She's a victim of a Hodgkiss disease. I bet he's going to be all choked up now that she's dead. <laughs> all choked up, get it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now a really big hand for the little lady. This is Hodgkiss, right here on our very floor. Hmm. Rings, fingernails, clippers, lubriderm lotion. It can't be. No. It's a clue. Hey, little hand, little hand. A big old booger. This goes in the jar with the others. Ew. Operator, give me the sheriff, quick. If he's not there, I'll talk to the skipper. Shaving, shaving, na -na 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 -na. Who? Paul. Paul Lawrence. You stop talking so fast, I can't understand a word you're saying. But dead, dead, found her, and yes? choked, and gunshot, and... <laughs> she, Hotchkiss? Yes, Mrs. Hotchkiss. <laughs> now, don't touch anything. I won't. Just I'll come. be there in five minutes. Oh, hurry Look, up. Paul. I know how you feel, son. No, you don't. I'll get there as fast as I can. He doesn't know how he feels. He's never been attacked by a hand. He has no idea how he feels. Look at that boy. Yeah, He's got a ball of pain inside. Try and raise the county coroner, Earl. And call my wife. Tell her I'm liable to be up all oh, night. Oh, we better get out of here. I'll call his wife. I'll tell her she's married to a too big character actor. has a name. Bond. James Bond. Bond is back on video, now digitally remastered to blow you away. Well, that's a neat trick. The James Bond 007 collection. Yours to own. Ha ha! Go on, Mon! Feel the spirit at Tower! Thousands of CDs are on sale now for just $9.99, like Bonnie Ray, Garth Brooks, Elvis Presley, also just $9.99 CD, Aerosmith, Bob Seger, Kenny G, Frank Sinatra, Clint Black, Mary Chapin Carpenter, or Get the Grateful Dead, Santana, and Michael Jackson. The Yule's cool at Tower. Simbet here with Polaroid's talking camera. He's gonna find a smile on my main man, Ebenezer. Watch this. Yo, Scrooge, buy a humbug, baby. Yo, Scrooge, buy a humbug, baby. See, it even makes the Scrooge smile. The Polaroid talking camera, instant smile.
I started my cleaning business with five houses, and now I have close to 200. No one does a better job than I do. The hardest room in the house to clean is the bathroom. I'm an absolute terror in a bathroom. I hate soap scum. It's like a layer. I mean, you get you get the hard water stains, and you get the soap scum, and you've got to get through one to get to the other. And that's what Comet Bathroom Cleaner does. Comet Bathroom Cleaner is the best when it comes to cleaning soap scum. Then nothing's better at getting rid of tough, hard water stains. Comet does a great job. It makes my job a whole lot easier. When others can't cut it, Comet can. of 400 crew members hang in balance. Uh, uh. Vision fading. Uh, must must cut transponder from wrist. Fashion crude phaser device with bed slat and light bulb. Uh, must control myself. Must find pastel colored native female. Execute prime directive. Uh, 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 hand so young looking. Mrs. Berg, I thought you were dead. Uh, uh, uh. Throat scratchy. Uh, oh, hand so dry can scratch name into it. Uh. Oh, <laughs> embarrassing cuticles on fingernails. Uh, must utilize emotional memory uh, and get Mrs. to. Phillips, stop it! Stop it! Stop! No, uh, uh. that was my big scene, hey, Joel. Yeah, we were just getting into it. This just isn't working. I don't know how Shatner does it week after week. I don't know why he does it or who lets him do it. I think we should just be glad he does it. Uh, oh, we got movie time! Let's go! Let's get to theater! That hand thing killed me. That's hilarious. Yeah. Pretty funny. We have to play more games like that. I like role-playing games. You know, this book of lists has everything. Look at here. What to do when a rogue hand kills your landlady. Hmm. Harding McDowell, Milton Burr. Huh? Operator, I'd like to make a long-distance call, please. Well, I'll do what I can, but I can't promise anything. You know how things are. You know, we really got to wait uh, till the bird makes some time. Then... Hello? 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 Did you hear anything else, like a door closing or somebody running? Or the sound of one hand clapping? No, nothing. Looks like she's been strangled. You can see the marks on her throat. No doubt about it. Hmm. Hmm. This lamp has panties on it. Now tell me, boy, did you ever see this gun before? It belongs to Mr. Hotchkiss. She told me that it had a hair trigger. Smells like a hair trigger. Yes, it probably fired when it fell off the table. Now, I know this is hard on you, boy, but anything you can remember will help. Anything at all. If you recall, did she leave any valuables around the house? Any sizable amounts of money? Nothing that I found she rifling through her stuff. Not that I know. Well, that isn't the way rumor has it. That is, if you can believe my wife, Edith. And you can't always do that. So then rumor wouldn't have it. That'll probably be Earl. Oh, I'll get the door. Wow. Psychic. That should do the trick. At least that's what my wife Edith says it usually does for her. Two of those and a glass of warm milk and she's out like a light. Make sure you drink it like a raccoon. We'll go over the routine questions in the morning. Now, Paul, just one other thing. Maybe you don't want to stay here in the house. I could drive you over to my house, and we'll find you another place tomorrow. I've got a couple of hammocks and a sailor's hat I'd like you to wear. No, I'll be all right. Don't worry about it. Soap and water will take that ink off. You better go upstairs and try and get some sleep. Sir? 
Strange kid dipping his hands in ink like that. How do you figure? Go well, downstairs, then. Think you got anything? Well, most of the prints were pretty small. They seem to match the ones we got off the gun and the flashlight. Print is pretty print? small. Yeah, I think so, but I can't tell you. Oh, there was one that might be interesting. Got it off a medallion she was wearing. How soon can we get a report? Well, I'll telephone to a set of these to Washington and run a make on them here. We don't know something. Mm. Oh, five, six hours. What about the kid? Well, I don't know. I don't like to guess on a case like this. I just don't understand why he wants to stay in the house. I should think he'd want to get as far away from here as possible. Now, he's a medical student. He's used to being around dead bodies. <laughs> I suppose. Just like us. Well, come on. We've got a full night's work ahead of us. Yeah, so. maybe. Maybe we're lucky we'll get an hour of sleep, huh? <laughs> yeah, nice improv. <laughs> Coconut cream pie? It just doesn't figure. That cat is thirsty. Can't shrunk. Now, to catch a hand, you've got to think like a hand. I'll lay out some press-on nails. Yeah, that would work. Or maybe some lotion lubiderm. Or, uh, yeah, I know. Some isotoner gloves. That would work great. Oh, magic lamp. Help me find the hand. Hello? Operator. Hello? Operator, long distance, please. Long distance to where I would you like to call to? I'd like to call... Who did I? Dr. Max... Whitesburg. Whitesburg? How would you spell that? Washington, D.C.? No, no, operator. I, I don't have the number. Listen, Can you operator, spell the name? Emergency. Is it an emergency? No, no. I'll, I'll hold on, okay? Could you hold on? Uh, How do you spell that name? No, uh, Whitesburg. Whitesburg? Whitesburg? W. W. E. W. E. I. T. Z. I. T. Z. Gotcha. E. Keep tracking. E. I can hear you, but oh, you're fading. Okay. Are you on drugs? Would you like to call the drug hotline? G Are you tripping? B uh, be on the lookout for a curling hand, curls up on the banister, and then drops on people. Uh, are you sure you can hold on the line? Uh, I can't hear you. Uh, are you... Uh, uh, it, it tends to drop on people right when they are about to pass out. Uh, Wow. This is action packed. Come on, spit it out. Cop it up. Uh, first word uh, sounds like uh, smoke. Play-Doh face, Play-Doh face. Did he just give him a wet willy? I think he did. With his own saliva. Pretty tricky. Oh, I sure could use a beer. Who could? Mm -hmm. But we can't stop now. I bet there's uh -uh. something in the kitchen. Not me. Not here. Me Not neither. For a nice, cool beer. Listen, uh -uh. Big whoever got her is probably hundreds one? of miles away by now. Mm -hmm. Just think of that long, tall, foamy brew. Yeah, oh, you could talk a snake out of his skin. Yeah, Okay, let's yeah. take a look. With my luck, she won't even have any. Dames like her always keep beer around. Always. I told you there'd be beer in the refrigerator. <laughs> Holy! Come here! Huh? What's the matter? It's what a two-for-one special. I don't know, but I'm getting out of here. It's a body, dummy. It might still be alive. With a face like no, that, it's not a dummy. It's a body. Himself? Listen, buddy, we were supposed to collect the demon. That's all. This guy's on his own. He is alive. Let's get him out of here. You know, it, it doesn't, doesn't get, get any better than this. You spent a hard day loading bodies, and you got one more than you bargained for. It's Miller time. Well, it was. I was making a long-distance call, and then... All I remember is... I slept with that? Wow, he really must have had his beer goggles on. Oh, he's high. There goes the deposit. It happens every time you work with a live one.
Dr. Katz treats a broad range of patients. I went to the opera once. Yeah. You know, I'm sitting at the opera and I'm thinking, look how much work it takes to bore me. Make your appointment to see Dr. Katz. Watch a sneak preview Sunday at 10 p.m. If you're trying to decide how much power you need, how much speed, if you're trying to decide how many megabytes or gigabytes, and if you're trying to decide what's the right price to pay, there's only one decision to make. Computer City, where you can speed up your Windows CD-ROM with Ballard Synergy's D-Time 10 and D-Time 95, or the Okidata OL600E printer that prints six pages per minute. Computer City, you can't make a wrong decision when you go to the right store. When I have friends and family, I expected big savings. Mistake. I'm always on the move, and MCI didn't cover all my calling card calls. So I got AT&T True Reach Savings. It's the only way I save 25% on every type of call on my AT&T phone bill, anywhere in the U.S., no matter who I call. AT&T True Reach Savings. Save 25% after spending just $25 a month. I love a company that can keep up with me. AT&T True Reach Savings. That's your true choice. AT&T. Mother Boyle and son Tim demonstrate their Columbia Parker's radial sleeves and zip out liner. The Columbia Interchange System adapts to any outdoor situation. When you're out there, breathing in the hot, the hot, stinky breath of the gods, and ask yourself, what, what in the sand hill am I doing here? You are not ready! And now, a very special message from Comedy Central and Miss Sally Kellerman. Are you shut out from jobs, more pay and promotions because you don't have a sense of humor? Well, those days are over. I'm Sally Kellerman, urging you to enroll at the Comedy Central Institute where you earn your humor equivalency degree in just a few short weeks. And you can do it in the comfort of your own home. Here are just some of the degree programs you can choose from. Absolutely fabulous. The Ben Stiller Show, Dr. Katz, Exit 57, Gun Repair, Kids in the Hall, Mystery Science Theater 3000, Refrigeration, Saturday Night Live, or get your specialized degree in Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, or Accounting. When you earn your degree and learn to be funny, you're guaranteed to make lots and lots of money. Get that sense of humor that gets you ahead and do it at CCI, because CCI is the place to do it at. If you'd like to learn more about the Comedy Central Institute, then watch Comedy Central, the only all-comedy cable network. Of course I don't believe it. Who could? And don't think I'm going to let some fantastic story about a ghost, fingerprints or no fingerprints, stop me from carrying out this project. Oh, now, wait a minute. I'm not wait. waiting for any. Calm Look, down, I Bucky. Be, I was given a goal and a time limit. And that time limit is just about run out. Well, Lee, I think we're forgetting the facts of the situation. I know it all may sound rather trivial with all your problems here, but the fact of the matter remains that a murder has been committed. And the prime suspect in this case happens to be one of our men. This was no suicide. It was I gather murder. from the attitude of Mr. Mizell of security that it won't be long before he applies real pressure right here. We may find ourselves right in the middle of an investigation. However, you do have an alternative, Lee. When Mydell calls, you can gain time by simply stating that Lockhart had no authorization to be in California, and at the present time, you have the slightest idea where he is. An absolutely true statement, one which you can't possibly be criticized for. Unless you flub your line. Even I could fly to Palms and investigate this uh, ghost story. May hold up the project a couple of days, practically nothing to lose. Oh, what are you saying? It's tempting. All right, you win. Go on, take off. <laughs> now we can go work on those O-rings. Barringer speaking. Hello there. Are you wearing rubber underwear? Yes, Mr. Mydell. Bye. Got to think. Must think. Must find hand. Must comb hair. Must get Vitalis, rub into scalp. 
Get rid of flaking. Paul. Little buddy. Sure. You all right? Sure. Where have you been? Out by the lagoon. I just took a walk. I woke up. I, I guess this thing bothered me a little more than I thought. I, I just took a walk. But you're filthy dirty. Yeah, and you're stocky tubby. You're all sweaty. You must have walked awfully hard. Now, look, Paul, I'm here because an ambulance driver called me. He told me a strange kind of a story. Have you got anything to tell me? Just a strange kind of a story? No, sir. All right, well, I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to stick close to the house. Now, I wouldn't go out at all if I were you. I don't care what you do, but stick close to the house. Do you understand? Oh, why don't you just go ahead and arrest me There's and get no it over with? There's against you, boy. Not yet. Not a boy. I'm a man. I suggest you go up and get some sleep. You've had a hard night. Hard day's night. Hi, welcome to your room. He's a rebel without a hand. Dear Kitty, by the time you hear this, I'll be dead. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. I'm telling this really for you, Professor Farnstrom and Marta. I would now like to sing Kathy's Clown. I know you will both realize that it is the truth. I have touched the unclean thing. Dogs can fly. Cold fusion is impossible. Shoot. Keep things to myself. I, I, I tried to be a lone wolf, and now I'm a dead duck. I guess I wanted all the credit for myself. Marta and I were swimming, and up on the sand, we found something quite interesting. Rock. Just on had a strange covering. I guess right away it must have been tripping. Um, remind me not to drop acid after school. Doing his Pete Townsend impression. There it is. People try to put us down. That's the close and play phonograph. Drop it. It stops. Close it. Shatters. Step on it. Smashes. Hey, it's Timothy Hutton. No, it looks more like uh, Adam Ant to me. Uh, maybe. It's from a place called Uncharted Desert Isle. Huh. Dear Skipper, why haven't you sent help? Signed, The Castaways. When did this thing arrive, Earl? Why, what is it? It's from Washington. We asked for a confirmation on those fingerprints at the Hotchkiss house. Well, they say they belong to a guy I never heard of, Lockhart. Who? Melvin June's Lockhart. Boy? Do you know a Melvin Lockhart? June's boy? Anybody in this town by that name? Never heard of one. June's boy? There's half of them. They're moving in. Who's moving in? June Washington. Boy. George? Grover? Great Caesar's ghost. Julius? Augustus? You tell me why they went in on a case like this? Curiosity? Money? A widow lady gets herself killed. A prime suspect. The only possible suspect I've got right here in my hand. Ooh. Ooh. Gonna make an arrest within a couple of hours. Kid? Certainly the kid. You know the way he's been acting. Like us, the only bad. Only could possibly have done it. Now they come up with a man named Lockhart. June's boy. And they're taking over. Earl, I'll tell you what's happened. They've got so many fingerprints on Washington, they've got them all mixed up. <laughs> well, what's the use? We can't buck them, not yet. What? <coughs> they also want to have us put a guard on the house. Nobody gets in. Want me to go over and sit on the place? Yeah, you better. 
Better well, bring a cushion. While you're there, keep an eye on young Lawrence. I suppose I should have picked him up long before this, but I just didn't want him to have a record until I was 100% sure. He's such a sweet kid. And then after those Washington boys get through fooling around, I'm afraid he's still going to be it. Now, I'd bet $100 on it. Okay, I'll get right over there. Right. Damn, Mary Ann. The fan club is uh, just past it was 60,000 marks. So we have 60,000 fans. We get about between 250 and 1,000 letters a week. What you receive if you're a member of the fan club is a twice yearly newsletter, um, which is uh, keeps everybody up to date on what uh, what's happening with Best Brains, what's happening with Mystery Science Theater, and the people that work here. Um, we send out a catalog of stuff you can buy. Now you can own Batman Forever on video. Feel the action. Live the adventure. Own it forever. Batman Forever on video. Now that's impressive. My mother, chairman of Columbia Sportswear, honed her outerwear design skills while raising me in Oregon. In fact, she developed jackets that stand up to everything Mother Nature can throw at a human being. The Columbia Interchange System. For diaper rash treatment and long-lasting protection, take the advice of an authority. I prefer Desitin. In fact, Desitin is recommended by three times more pediatricians than any other diaper rash formula. A friend of mine told me, try America Online. I said, why? I've got a computer. He said, try it. You'll see. It's simple. Every time you sign on, welcome. it tells you if you've got mail. You've got mail. Want to send some email? Type the message, click here, and it's done. I like this. With one click, I can browse all kinds of great features on America Online. I've gotten help with my golf swing, planned my next vacation. I even get stock price updates every 15 minutes. America Online puts over 100 newspapers and magazines right on my screen. Everything from time to cycle world. And I can browse them all. With America Online, you can point and click your way across the internet. And their web browser makes it easy to explore the World Wide Web. Call the toll-free number and you'll receive your free startup kit and 10 free hours to look around. It's worth a try. You'll see. To try America Online free, call 1-800-562-4747. You'll receive your free America Online startup kit and 10 free hours your first month. Call now. Get your free sample psychic reading. Don't miss this opportunity. Call now. Before I spoke with her, I, I was unsure. But her integrity as a real psychic became clear to me. Call for yourself. My psychic showed me how to be successful. The Psychic Readers Network can do the same for you. I want you to pick up the phone and talk to one of our psychic readers. Open yourself up to new possibilities with a free psychic reading. My psychic insisted I go to a certain party, and that's where I met the man I'm going to marry. I hit the $27,000 jackpot, and my psychic showed me how. I got the coolest reading. She was accurate, sincere, and really helpful. Try a free sample reading and see for yourself. Try it now. My psychic really helped me, and yours can help you too. Good work. Call now. Don't wait. Get your free sample reading from Psychic Readers Network. Call 1-800-277-9784. Hi, Tom Servo here with great holiday gift shopping ideas for the Misty in your life. Let's shop. May I suggest the Power Tee in classic white with a smart black planet logo. Another holiday favorite, the MST mug with the whole cast in vivid color. The elegant MST watch tastefully adorned with the planet logo. Friendly operators are standing by right now. Call 1-800-559-8916. This is Tom Servo announcing, Happy Holidays, everyone. Clearasil, Clearasil, Oxy, Oxy. Yes, what can I do for you? Good afternoon, Sheriff. I'm Steve Curran. This is Doc Weisberg, and we're from Washington, D.C. We talk real fast. Well, you government boys really work fast. <laughs> you got here in a hurry. Let me get you some coffee. Oh, thank you. No, no, no thank you. Hey, tell me, uh, who's this man Lockhart? Wait a minute, let's not get started off on the wrong foot here, Sheriff. Yeah, I know. You ask the questions, I don't. Hmm? Huh? Well, you boys are from the Bureau, aren't you? Well, that's just it, Sheriff. We're from space operations. Space? 
base operation. Oh, now, wait a minute, boys. This is Palms, California, population 2,306. We don't have Woman space here. And... We know all about that, Sheriff. We just want to ask you a few questions. So, about this very man Lockhart. Has he been seen? Well, now, I don't know who you boys are or why you're here. As far as I'm concerned, you've got no authority at all to ask now, me Now, wait questions. a minute. We didn't come out here. Steve, just around. a minute. Sheriff, as a matter of fact, all we want is your permission to go through the house. Nobody goes through the house. Not till the boys from the Bureau get here. And I've got an armed guard that says nobody does. Yowza. Oh, yeah? Well, we know Buzz Aldrin. Fatty. Oh, 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 oh. That's not so bad. I don't really have acne anyway. I can go to that dance. It's not a pimple. It's my nose. <laughs> what was I thinking of? Hubcap, duck. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, we just talked to the sheriff. Yeah, he called me. He didn't change his mind, did he? Nope. Well, uh, do you mind if we just look around outside? Nothing to see, but help yourself. Do you have any theories? Yeah, somebody killed her. That's my theory. Huh? Norman, get away from the window, Norman. Well, Steve, I guess we might as well be on our way. Uh, Doc, you notice they don't build houses like this anymore. Kick hmm? sheriff. Kick oh, uh, no, they, they sure don't, do they? <laughs> no, they don't make houses like this anymore. Huh? Well, we'll see you around. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, your muffler. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hand. Yeah, I think they're going to do a scene from Cyrano. Whatever we got to get done, we better get done fast. That cold fish is going to be around here any second. Hey, I think somebody just called me a cold fish. Why? Could you distinguish whether it was a man or a woman? Oh, that was a pretty quick glance, Doc. I'm not sure. Look, Steve. Huh? Incoming, Doc! Oh. Huh. Now, the gate's over here. Uh, gate's over... Uh, hey, uh, how'd you get over there? Uh, oh, jeez. Oh. It's down there. Could you get that for me? It's a note. Come back tonight after dark. Back door will be unlocked. I have something important to tell you. Be careful There's something everything. sheer. No signature. Well, I didn't have a date tonight, did you? Well, looks like we both have now, doesn't it? Hmm, let's see, something sheer. How about that pink chiffon number? Oh, no, wait, you're using that. Uh, what about that taffeta, that tea length, you know, the one I wore to the IGY convention? You know, the night I went home with Eureka Garin? You remember. Hey! Hey! Hey, wait a minute, stop or I'll say hey again. Ouch! How'd she get in? She found the hole in the security curtain. Paul? Oh. What are you doing here? Get out. Well, are you all right? I read in the paper about poor Miss Hodgkin. It's a terrible thing. Never mind. Get out of here. Well, there's this thing on the beach. I just can't get it out of my mind. Well, I can't get it out of my Don't house. about it? No. Get out. Why are you staying here? It's no good. You can come to our house. Marta, please. Marta, what are you doing here? Yeah. Harrison, get her out of this house. Just get her out. You just get back to your room. No playing with your hand and no supper. Now, wait a minute. I have a right to see Paul. I'm a friend of his. Get her out of this house! I think he wants her out of the house. Come on, Martha. Come on. 
Bye, Martha. And don't let her come back! Think he's been watching James Dean movies, you guys? No. And what is that, uh, ice cream place? Or? Uh, it's a coffee house, I think. Bagel shop. Pizza place? Oh, uh, no, it's a oh, mortuary. It's a mortuary. Oh, so what did they say? Is that oh. a peace sign? Hope? Oh, I hope this movie does. I don't know if she had any relatives back east at all. Uh, I know she used to speak of an uncle, but he was in England or someplace. Where'd you say you were from again? Pennsylvania. Oh, he's from New York. And he's from Pennsylvania. We heard about the tragedy and flew out here. Oh, I see. Well, uh, here she is. You can take a look if you like. Really looks very well. Of course, we got the body quite soon after the uh, crime. And there weren't any uh, marks except the ones on her throat. And the ones you we know, added. Sometimes in cases like this. Yeah. We put turtlenecks on them. Looks um, very well, I think. Mm hmm. Yes, Steve. Yes. What's he doing? What is that thing? It's a dust buster. Words off evil spirit. Oh, I see. There's absolutely no doubt. Uh, thanks very much. We're satisfied. And you're absolutely right. She looks very well. Which is more than I can say for you, Baldy. Hey, come back. Is that really a dust buster? These guys are the greatest comedy FTV team here. since Willie Ames and Scott Bale. Gotta keep this flashlight with the windows down. Dave, give me the light. Put it on the gauge. Yeah. What do you say? Well, there's an indication. It's, it's faint, but it's definite. This corn relish is radioactive. Very strong reading right here on top of the shelf. Nothing above or below. Oh, that's ridiculous, Doc. No man could get up on that shelf that would never hold him. It's just part of a man, maybe. It doesn't have to be a man. Oh, Remember? Yeah. Well, perhaps we can trace the trail back to where it come from. Keep the light on the cage. Hey, who are they trying to fool with that stud finder? They yeah, haven't found me yet. <laughs> See, it's done to me. <laughs> oh, brother. Dave! It's on the ceiling! Now, oh, Doc, what man do you happen to know that walks on the ceiling? Lionel Richie? Turn off the light! All right, let him move first. Hello? Say something. Hey, if you can't say anything nice, just don't say anything at all. It's an Elvis zombie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Priscilla, make me a banana sandwich. Oh. Check out those classic Elvis karate moves there. Like from Blue Hawaii. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the kitchen. Good night, everybody. Come on, back up. They're in the house. What are you two doing back here? Well, don't bother about us. Go after that maniac. Well, now you must. The guy in the rhinestone. Right past you. I don't know what you're talking about. Into the house. I'll call the sheriff. Look, officer, you're wasting time. Go after that man. Shut up and get back into the house. But I. All right, Doc. Nothing we can do about it right now. Into the house. Why, you lily-livered, flea-bitten federal boys? Nah. got the eye of the beast. You know, if he sings Maria right now, I'm going to lose it, you guys. No, he won't sing it. He's not even sporting a dance belt. Or dancing a sport belt. No zombies, not allowed. No zombies.
No strangling, not allowed. No lights. Music's cool, though. Boy, you get a zombie on the business end of a mop, and there's no telling what's going to happen. Murder's the word, 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 word. Murder's the word, 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 word. Murder's the word, Mur murder's the word. We got a new dance and it goes like this. Murder's the word, 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 word. Well, you shake Bob up at the end of your hand. Word, 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 word. It goes like this, the kid who knows how to kiss. I said no killing. Oh, it's the rat boy. I guess a double scoop Sunday's out of the question now. Huh? Oh, we gotta get out of here. You know, that hand's not so tough. What's the worst thing he's going to do to you anyway, pinch you? <laughs> yeah, as long as he know how to go after you. He's got no brain and no yeah. leverage. Hey, what are you guys uh, talking about? Oh, we're just mocking this week's monster. I mean, what's a hand going to do to you anyway? Paul, well, there's a lot of things a hand can do if you stop to think about it. Like if you're sleeping, comes up with these two fingers, shoves them up your oh, nose, you yeah. suffocate. Stone dead. I hardly think that's possible. Or he could use this finger and come up behind somebody and tap them, whiplash, dead. Oh, yeah, right, I bet. Well, and, uh... Who knows what else? It's like he could do this thing, like that. You look down, tell you're bored to death or something yeah, like that. Yeah, right, Joel. Tell me about or, it. Or uh, let's say he had a accomplice uh, hand who was his friend, and they'd gang up on you and give you an Indian oh, rub like that. All right, Joel. Sure. Tell us about it. I can't believe you guys don't know. Then there's the cuff, oh. chuck, gnaw, ah. nork, oh. rap, ah. peck, flip. Oh. Jeez. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. I don't think that hand could scare me anyway. Free roaming, rogue, disconnected glove. Even if it were connected to a forearm, it wouldn't bother me. Tickle you to death? Sure, but scary? Ha! Yeah, I knew a hand with calluses the size of a football, but it didn't scare me in the least. Joel, you uh, remember that, Joel? Joel. Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Of all the eye drops you can buy, Visine is the only one recommended by pharmacists 4 to 1 over any other brand. Visine's formula gives you 100% of the relief you need. Visine, it gets the ring out. Jesse, Jesse, you're next. I'm all yours. Save it for the stage, Romeo. Carol always gives it to me straight. Like when she told me about my... I told him about head and shoulders. Regular shampoos just rinse flakes away so they could come back. Head and shoulders helps prevent flakes from even forming. You see the difference? You look great. Thanks. But will it get me this part? Couldn't hurt. Head and shoulders. Because great hair can't have flakes. Hey, break a leg. Burger King announces a truly magical opening. Disney's Toy Story. The exciting new animated adventure now in theaters that brings toys to life. And now at Burger King, get your kids one of four Toy Story puppets for just $1.99 each when you buy any value meal. They're great to get and to give. $1.99 Toy Story puppets. Collect all four. You'll give your kids a little taste of magic. Only at Burger King. Beyond the window electric, down a computer-generated blacktop, they ride. Carrying the remains of the day, they've come to the global village with software technology so bold. It can restore life to the fabric of a weary society and bring a touch of comfort to a material world grown hard. They are the ones who surf the net, the whiz kids of the information superhighway. 
Introducing big news from Ultra Joy. You can use less. One spoonful is twice as powerful on tough grease as bargain brands. So a bottle lasts 50% longer. New Ultra Joy. The savings are in every spoonful. Brian Epstein was brought on only after the Beatles had a falling out with their original manager, Reuben Kincaid. This Thanksgiving, don't just sit around staring at each other. Let us entertain you all weekend long with our overstuffed schedule of 27 totally free movies in the Totally Free Movie Marathon, starting tonight at midnight. Comedy Central, fun for the whole family. I have a question for you. Where's my show? The Mommies have a show. Every year, Alan Thicke gets a brand new series, Where's My Show? I pay my taxes. You choose the premise. I could be an out-of-work astronaut, or I could be a, a man who travels from town to town and learns something valuable about himself. I could be a fish out of water, or a freshwater fish in salt water. I don't care, I want a show. And a reviewer who will refer to the show as a good-natured romp. Is that too much to ask? You're watching the MST Anthology on Turkey Day here at Comedy Central. <laughs> oh, that's just <laughs> sweet potatoes. Oh, I know I'll never remember this stuff. It's an O'Neill. Oh, oh Joe, be... Joe, it was horrible. There's this big hand chasing me. You understand it, Marta? <laughs> uh, we oh, got they were teasing you. That was Chipsy in a What's giant hand about? costume. We skanked what? it. What? Yeah. Oh, I, I knew that. Yeah, watch the movie. Kid, that exam is tomorrow and you've got to pass. Well, you know they expect twice as much from foreign students. You no, know the boys do. Oh, I wasn't asleep. It's just that... I know you're concerned about Paul. Oh, but he'll be okay. Oh, Patsy. I just don't understand it. What's happened to him? It's well, terrible. it's time she explained puberty to you. Why is he staying in that house? Gee, I don't know. Papa hasn't said a word about it at home. It's no use me asking him. He just won't tell me anything about stuff like that. They're keeping him a prisoner. Well, he may be a suspect. Paul didn't kill anyone. He's Paul. That I'm sure of. Papa always says you can't be sure what anyone is going to do. In certain circumstances. Yeah, but your dad was in Gilligan's Island. He didn't kill anyone. I'm sure of that. Oh, we may chuck the heck out of people at times, but kill? Nah. I thought it's perhaps time for a little rest and refreshment. You know, studying in such a furious pace without pause can be very exhausting. I'm afraid that's not the case. Grandpa Ed. Not with me. No? In any case, there are sandwiches and coke, and I've made quite a tempting little snack. Oh, you saw me, Professor. Lead the way. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, you mentioned hors d'oeuvres and the babes go wild. I'm really not hungry. That's all right. I'm really not your grandpa. Daddy, I better start. I'm afraid if I don't want to flunk tomorrow. Oh, well, as you wish. Patsy and I will have to eat extra portions then. And yeah, and Patsy can really tuck away the chow. Is that in few minutes, pal? Wow, look, she really is smart. Hey. That looks like Roland Gifts from Fine Young Cannibals. Hi, I'm Roland Gifts from the Fine Young Cannibals. You drive me crazy. It's about your stairs. There are none. Oh, I've been so worried. I know. Listen, I'm going away. Away? Away, you Where? know, not here. No. Just as soon as I get rid of something, it must be destroyed. His planners for it? I just couldn't go without saying goodbye first. Well, what's the matter? What are you afraid of? Tell me. The dark? Well, no, not the dark. Yeah. 
One thing I want to tell you. I didn't kill Mrs. Hotchkiss. I know that, Paul. You couldn't have. There are people who think I did. Sheriff Townsend, Pete Townsend, John Entwistle, the list goes it on. Everything will be all right. He looks like Bob Crane. Grandfather will He loves you very much, Paul. Don't touch me. Listen, I can't explain it, but, but I, I'm all mixed up, and, and there's something terrible that's happened to me, and I, I, and I, there's only one person that I could have relied on in this world, and I almost killed him a few minutes ago. Mm. Never mind, it would take you long to explain. I don't have the time. I'm Or the communication there skills. There are times when I'm all right, and then I'm not, and then I'm and then when I'm myself and I'm not, and the periods when I'm myself are getting shorter and shorter to I Do you understand? No. Well then don't try. She doesn't Jeez. understand much, really. But right, she is very smart. No, Paul, I'm not gonna let you go. If your ill will help you, you can come and stay with us and we'll take care of you until your will. I'm not moving in here till you get some front you stairs. remember when you asked me that question? Whether I was going back home after summer was over? I was only teasing you. I never meant to go. I want to stay here. I want to be here with you. I love you, Paul. No, no, no. You don't understand. No, I won't let you run away. No. No. No, get away from me! Joel? I smell a big, juicy transformation oh, scene that? coming up here. Yeah. His neck is stiff, for God's sake. Leave him alone. What is, what's the matter with you? Hey, it's Sid Vicious. That was rotten, Johnny. <laughs> and she's Nancy. And that looks a lot like the Chelsea Hotel. Who? He's the least successful strangler in the movies. He runs around the countryside giving people Dutch rubs. That's when a siren was a siren. Headlights were headlights. Hats yeah, were hats. We should have listened. We had no idea. The Heavies was were crazy. heavy. You two should have thought of that when and you helped him escape. And she roamed the countryside. Both of you to be reasonable, man. Look, if he does any harm to that parts from girl, I'll show you how unreasonable I can be. Then I'm going to whack you with my sailor hat. My daughter's at the parts from place, too. Whoa. Just pull your hands away. Thirteen thirteen Mockingbird Lane. This is the place, all right. Every time I get a boyfriend, he crushes my windpipe. I don't get it. May I speak with her, Professor? Sure, Skipper. Marta, it was Paul Lawrence, wasn't it? One long biscuit for yes, two for no. Not really, Paul. Not Paul, but an incredible simulation. In the sand. It was an arm. Lying in the sand. A human arm. Just speak it. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh. You oh. drive me crazy. Crawling torso. It was Paul Lawrence, wasn't it? Can't he ever use the stairs? <laughs> He's a welcome cat now. Poor screwed up kid. Poor screwed up cat. Hey little hand, where are you buddy? Oh, that's a dust bunny, that's no good. There's a latex hand. I found my Carmex. There's some sand in it, though. Uh, 
Let's see, if I were an arm, where would I hide? My sleeve, of course. <laughs> uh, no, maybe the meat freezer. Yeah. Who? Cage match. Arm wrestling. Fizz bag for the arm. So you're not going to wash that with the whites, are you? Quick, throw them in the trash compactor. Set it on mulch. The quickest way to turn a big hand into a little hand. Nice handoff. <laughs> Is he going to use that to signal turns now? Here comes the long arm of the law. Hey, his car's gone. It was parked right there at the curb. Put a call out on the car. I'll make a double check inside. You don't want to control. Hmm, everything seems to be in order in the old woman's room. Except there's no old woman here. Well, you can't just leave him lying around. Hello? George? John? Ringo? Who am I kidding? They'll never get back together again. Thirty-nine A, Code Seven. Spotted him heading down a county dump road, but he gave him a slip. You stick close to the house just in case. We'll check with you later. This guy has the worst job, just staying around the house day after day, night after night. What, Adam 12? See the appendage, corner of Druckster and Main. Be advised, he's armed and dangerous. I just remember it was, uh, it's a rich film. It's a Corman film, and it's also got um, The Skipper from uh, Gilligan's Island. So it's, I mean, how could you not love that? He's going deep. He's got it. The ultimate three-pointer. These guys are good. Oh, what a shot. Oh, there's a nice play. Nice follow-through. You know, Jack, these guys it's are... It's a beautiful so day. Why don't you kids do something different for a change? There's the pump fake. Okay, Mom. He's looking for an open. Oh, nice hustle in there. Pass it oh, these guys are in perfect sync. Hey, so Introducing the great taste of new Taco Supreme flavor Doritos tortilla chips. Oh, that was a good idea. That was a real good idea. Glade Lasting Mist Air Freshener has a concentrated mist that goes up, stays up, freshens for hours. Ordinary sprays just go up and fade in minutes. Fresh for hours of freshness. In refills too, fresh from Glade as Sea Johnson Wax. What is that? It's your Stargate. Now you can own the movie critics are calling Heart Star Wars. Heart Close Encounters. Heart Indiana Jones. And all fun. Now, the most amazing film of the year is the year's most collectible video. What a rush. Stargate. Buy your copy today for $19.98 or less from Live Entertainment. Get into a new kind of cool. Get Shorty, the original motion picture soundtrack. Get Shorty includes great new music by Morphine, Us Three, and Stink by John Lurie. Get with it. Get Shorty, the original motion picture soundtrack. Available now on Antilles, CDs, and cassettes. charge interest from the moment you buy something if you carry a balance as little as a dollar i didn't know that 
It's true. But the Optima True Grace Car from American Express doesn't. So you could save money by switching to the Optima True Grace Car. I can? Yes, you can. Apply now and you'll also get a special low introductory rate of just 7.9% for 12 months. And there's no annual fee. So you'll save even more. Start saving on interest charges. Don't delay. Call for your Optima True Grace Card from American Express. Remember, the Optima True Grace Card is the first major credit card with an interest-free grace period, even when you carry a balance. And that adds up to a lot of savings. You can apply right over the phone. Call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. Stop paying interest you don't have to, now. Dr. Katz has a son. His name is Ben. Ben is slightly unmotivated. Hey, Dad, two more box tops, and uh, this baby's mine. I'm proud of you. Watch Dr. Katz. Watch a sneak preview Sunday at 10 p.m. Traveling in the Woody. Taking the world by storm. Oh man, he's gonna soil that kid's stadium blanket. Hey, signal those turns. That hand should moisturize more. That could be eczema, seborrhea. Psoriasis. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Boom. Then came the rain and washed spider. Oh, what's bugging that hand anyway? He's got a personal vendetta against anyone with a full body. You gotta hand it to him though. Oh, you. That limb's revolting. Hey, I'm trying to drive. See, now that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. You can tell it's a low-budget movie because they can't wreck the car. See? Good point. The Crawling Hand. You will believe a hand can crawl. That's yeah! The, that's the Australian crawl, I think. You will believe Alan Hale can act. No. Sleeveless. This is all sort of a hand jive, isn't it? Yep. I was born to hand jive. Whoa. Oh, outflanked him. That's gotta hurt. Ouch. Oh, oh, gee, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hand to hand combat. Uh. Yeah, now tell that to the rest of your body. Here they come to save the day. The cops will handle it. Get a grip on yourself, bro. <laughs> What's this? Metallic claws. Looks like R34. I've never seen anything like that. No what, have you been stranded on a desert aisle? Please travel. There's a prowler at the rear door. Lock hard so I can set my light. You might have to. this way. There he is. And he's looking good. Wait a minute. You're not going to gun him down, are you? He's a killer. If he doesn't come quietly, I'll have to shoot him. But he's just a kid. Sure he's just a kid. I know all about kids like him. A county jail is full of them. Sell many impersonators? Paul, don't do anything foolish. That's right, Paul. 
I don't want to hurt you. Now put that bottle down and come over here quietly. Put that bottle down. Oh, now, boy. I wouldn't want to use this gun. Now put the bottle down so we can get back into town. Oh, listen to me. You didn't hurt her. Think, Paul. Martyr's all Think. Right. That part. Cats can't resist the cosmic tree. They're eating right out of his hand. Oh. The beefy, moist meal in oh, a sleeve. No. You gonna put that bottle down or am I gonna have to take it away from you? Think about it, Paul. They're living hand to mouth. Not a lot of meat on a hand, but if you cook it right, it's good eating. I like buffalo astronaut arms myself. Who doesn't? It's amazing that a disembodied hand still bleeds with no blood pressure or anything. Mmm, knuckle sandwich. Nice, swoon. Good form. Came out of his tuck and everything. We better get him to a hospital right away. Come on. This hand isn't crawling anywhere. Hey, don't leave me with the kid. Oh. This was no boating accident. Prince, don't lie. I'm here, Steve. 34, clear. Okay, you two, let's go. Hey, what you looking for, fatty? Not a trace. Not a solitary trace. Must be a talent meter. There's my boy. Just hypertension now. What you had is an entirely different matter, and we'll talk about it when you get well. What I had? What happened to it? Let's just say that life can exist under different temperatures, and a fever of 104 was enough to finish it off. Fortunately for you and for us. I just talked to Berenger. He wants to see it immediately. Good. I'm glad he does. The sooner we get rid of it, the better. Well, Martin. Come on in. Is it all right? For a little while, I think it'll do him more good than harm. Excuse me. I think so, too. Uh, are you sure you got the thing fixed so it won't ever get away again? Don't worry about it, Sheriff. It's in a metal box and it's locked. And in about two minutes, it's going to be on an airplane and no one will ever see it. Well, that's be all right with me. getting rough. Well, I'm on my way for a three-hour tour. <laughs> Come on. Tell me. You mean what you said last night about staying here? Yes, I intend not to. I don't play games. Too weak. How can I help myself? You know women can't resist weak men. And they're going to stay. Or the rich taste of s'mores. It's weird till I get out of this bed. Just you. And me and my extra arm. Oh, no, not these two guys. Man, they couldn't even work for Domino's Pizza Delivery. About time for a tall, cool one. Couple of road sodas. Wonder what all the secrecy is about this time. There you go, sticking your nose into something that's none of your business. All we're supposed to do is deliver to the airport. Yeah, but those people inside got me curious. You know that fellow from Washington, the way he kept looking at it, asking me if I was sure it was locked? Yeah. I'd give anything to take a look inside. Not me. I don't care what's in it. Come on, let's get moving. That's your trouble. No curiosity. You'll never get any place without curiosity. You've got to find out about things. Yeah? Well, I like it that way. What harm will it do to take a look? I've got the key. It might be dangerous. <laughs> what do you think? It's alive? You don't see any holes in the box? You think it'll bite you or something? Way to go, Mr. Logic. You're always talking me into doing something I don't want to do. Have I ever steered you wrong? Well, there's that whole beer, dead body thing, yeah. No, don't do it, guys. We better get out of here. 
Here, come on. Don't do it. You guys. Oh! oh I knew it'd be something like that. Next time he's Federal like Express, that. or maybe hand delivery. A pot of birds, a pot of birds, a bird, a bird, bird, a pot of birds, a bird. Okay, you guys, that's the end of the movie. We made it. And uh, this hey. is uh, time for the Ram Chip episode where you say a good thing about the film and a bad thing, you get a Ram Chip, okay? Hey. Ready? Go ahead, Curl. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, the good thing was those cats showed us a new definition for finger food. Uh-huh. <laughs> finger. The bad, yeah. yeah. And the uh, bad thing. Uh, bad thing was, um, well, never trust a delivery man. Right, okay, here's your Ram Chip. There you go. All right. Now, Tom Servo? Okay, the good thing was uh, there was a Swedish babe in the film who didn't get killed. Yeah, and the bad thing? Uh, she didn't spend the time on her makeup that it deserved as the film went on. Okay, here's your amp tip, pal. Oh, there you go. All right, well, we want to thank everybody who's been writing in, and I want to thank the mad scientist for faxing the letters back up to me. But anyway, this one's from Ricky Fowles, and he says... Uh, he wrote some letters, and this one's to you, Crow. Oh, hey. He goes, you. Dear Crow, I really <laughs> like you. I laugh when you make a joke. So that's a good thing, right? Have I made one yet? Yeah. And I hope I can see you someday. All right. Take a look, kid. Yeah. And uh, Joel, someday I would like you to take apart Servo. Oh, hey. Yeah. Hey, can I help? And I like Gypsy because he looks cool. Gypsy's a she, by the way. Uh... And that's from Ricky Fouts, and he also did some drawings. Uh, we got those in Still Store, don't we, Cambot? Okay, let's take a look at that. We got uh, one of Crow, and then Whoa. it says, look on back, and you turn it around, and we got a Tom Servo there. Hey, See? Nice. Isn't that neat? And then on the next one, it says, Gypsy. It's like this, and then it says, look on back, and it's got Joel right there. See, I got a little light bulb above my head because I had a bright Perfect idea. Too. Yeah. All right, well, read the address, Crow. Keep the cards and letters coming in, everybody. It? Servo, read it. Tom, Servo, read okay. the letter there. All right, send your letters to the Mystery Science Theater Fan Club, P.O. Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota, 55343. Send them now. Right. Yay. Thanks a lot for watching. Scientists, I hope you're happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. Are you happy, Clay? Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, Clay? I'm Tell happy. him. Are you happy? Uh, Tell him. Oh, uh, God. To reach. Console, got to end experiment. Oh! <laughs>
because they're a world of color, prettier, cozier than ever before. The quilted when you're pretty up All new bounty medleys. Hanging close to dry, that's the real test of downy softness. So, so, you love it. Mid-price brands can leave clothes stiffer. Downy gives the most fluffy softness. Soft on your skin, come on in. Ordinary credit cards charge interest from the moment you buy something. If you carry a balance as little as a dollar. I didn't know that. It's true. But the Optima True Grace card from American Express doesn't. So you could save money by switching to the Optima True Grace card. I can? Yes, you can. Apply now and you'll also get a special low introductory rate of just 7.9% for 12 months. And there's no annual fee, so you'll save even more. Start saving on interest charges. Don't delay. Call for your Optima True Grace card from American Express. Remember, the Optima True Grace card is the first major credit card with an interest-free grace period, even when you carry a balance. And that adds up to a lot of savings. You can apply right over the phone. Call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. Stop paying interest you don't have to. Now. In November, Comedy Central brings you all new episodes of Dr. Katz. He's still a psychiatrist. He still has his son, Ben. He still has his receptionist, Laura. But he does have two new patients, Stephen Wright. This guy's insane. I should have never came in here. And Kevin Meany. My father, he loves to barbecue because he was a fireman for 30 years and he knows how to control the flames. Make your appointment to see Dr. Katz. Watch a sneak preview Sunday at 10 p.m. Friday, it's an unexpected night of TV treasures. You know him from the State Department, but you've never seen him like this before. It's Warren Christopher on ice. Then, let yourself melt away into the wonderful world of moisture with the Cousteau Society's Wet Things. East meets West, Black meets White, and everybody gets along when Woody and Soon Yi guest star on a very special Family Matters. It's TV you must see. Comedy Central. We don't do anything to get ratings. He's back, well-rested, and he looks great. The sneak preview of Dr. Katz is coming soon. Perkins! Jack? Uh, they didn't have those shiitake mushrooms, so I got canned mushrooms, and I didn't know what that basmati rice was, so I got uh, Uncle Ben. Gus, who are you? What are you doing here? What do you want with me? <laughs> I'm Mr. B, natural, and I embody the spirit of music in you and you. Knew your father had did. Is it money you want? Ah, ha, ha, Mr. B. Natural, I see you got Frank's invitation. Yeah. Brought a Mexican three-layer dip, I did. Oh, look, you two, I am really trying to rule the world before my mother gets here, so if you could just, oh, just make yourself at home. Well, that'll make me feel like a happy thing. Oh, boy. Excuse me. Attention. Attention, people of Earth. My anthology of evil continues. Please be sure to check the air.